What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Pens aren't dead. So, you know, I love Shinola, and I was on their website, and I found a pen that they had, and I ordered it. And I want to show you everything that it comes with here, but I want to kind of back up, first of all, and show you um, what is my favorite daily pen. This is called the Pilot G2. It's a roller ball pen. You can see here we have a nice gliding uh, black ink roller ball refill. Uh, it's a clicker, as you can see. It's a nice feeling pen. It doesn't look high-end. It's not high-end. They're cheap. You can buy these in like a package of 10. And you can see here, they're just a really comfortable pen to use. Nicely made, but they write great. You know, as good as any other roller ball. And uh, because they're totally consumable, throw, um, you can throw some away when you're done. Uh, you know, I've used them for years and years and years. So, fast forward flash forward here and I bought myself the Shinola large journal and as you can see here the my pilot g2 made it but you can also see here that the pen uh, sleeve is not big enough for my g2 and so I have to put it like this now flash forward even further I'm on the Shinola website and I'm looking at their pens and I realize they have a pen here that uses the Pilot G2 refill. So I get all of the beautiful, high quality, smooth gliding writing that I can with the Pilot, but hopefully this pen will fit the loop on here right as well um, as my G2 and you know, kind of tie everything together. My Shinola leather journal cover, journal and pen all together. All right. so. That being said, I was like, well, then I got to order. So I did. Now, um, here's the pen. I'll show you that in a second here. I just unboxed the box that it came in, and we get a little card here. Uh, Shinola is asking you to post this on their Instagram feed. And then we also have this here, and I'm not even sure what this is. Well, I guess it's the packaging list for the pen. So it does come with that. And then, oh, looks like this. If I need to return it, looks like there's a label in there, which I'm not going to have to. All right, so all this is in here. All right, so that's kind of nice. Nice little booklet, because there's nothing of note. And then they even did write this little handwritten tag here, which is always kind of nice. It, it just a little funny because, you know, if you spend six, seven, eight hundred dollars on a watch and they, it comes with this, I totally get it, but they even do it on a pen. Now, that might also be partially because this pen is not inexpensive. In fact, I did a little research on it because I didn't know anything about this pen brand until I actually, after I ordered it, and it's actually called, I actually just thought they were calling it the Tactile Turn Pen. Tactile Turn is actually the name of the company. You can see it here. You can go to the, their website and buy these pens. This is the Titanium Glider. They also make a little bit shorter one. I think it's called the Slider. And it's actually a company out of Texas. And the founder owner, and it's I think it's just a single person shop. His name is Will Hodges. I believe I've got that name right. And he makes these pens. He just makes a high quality, really interesting pen. I'm not even really sure how to open this box. I guess that's, there we go case and he makes them out of titanium and they're just really really interesting there's a couple of the reasons why i was so um, super curious about this particular pen because i have other hobbies that i think this kind of pen um, celebrates or at least in, in design it does so here it is this is a titanium pen uh and i would say it ha definitely has some weight to it uh you know in terms of nice luxury pens because they're they're not big lead. I can't think of what that what they call it, like a hard resin. You know, uh, even luxury pens, even though they're kind of big and thick sometimes, they aren't actually all that heavy. So because this is all metal, it's uh, kind of surprisingly heavy, although not heavy uncomfortably, but uh, titanium just tends to be so, so light. And you can see here the machining, and I'm going to really go in on this for you, give you a really close look. You can see kind of the machining ridges on it all the way down. Now, what's really kind of clever about this is you can't, I don't even think, maybe right there, I can maybe just make out a little bit of a ridge. And that's where I think the pen will open up, but it's super hidden, right? I mean, you would think this is a single unibody pen and uh, these little ridges go all the way down. It feels kind of, it really feels nice. It's kind of like running your finger over a vinyl record. So I'm just gonna twist it here where I think there's the break. And there we go. You can just see how quality that machine is when you can't even see the, um, the separation. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Chip Foos when he does his machining on suspension parts to hide bolts and stuff like that. It's just amazing. Now, uh, what's interesting there is you also have a little o-ring so kind of will help it keep waterproof but also these two pieces um, kind of compression fit together here so they don't uh, uh, inadvertently uh, unscrew from each other and then we open it up and again here is that rollerball refill I don't know if this will say G2 but it says uh, 
um, you know, pilot. There we go. And it does say G2 on there. Anyway, so he, this is that typical refill. Looks like we've got the little dot on there. I'm gonna pull that off. And now I can put this sucker back in. And I just wanna show you kind of the machining quality. It's nice and thick, man. This is this is sweet. I, you know, someone's got a sweet CNC machine or something or, or a lathe. So I'm just gonna put this back in here because then we're gonna try writing with it, obviously. Man, just nice and, and simple, not overdone, right? And the whole seam there just disappears as it's blended together. So I'm gonna back out of the, the, uh, the look here. We have a nice, big, thick clip. This reminds me almost of a tactical flashlight. It's got a lot of tactical feel to it. And the clip is really what makes this thing interesting, right? So you can see here we have the C cutout shape and then we have a little knob here, which is kind of like a, a, uh, a bolt. I mean, I think that's what it's supposed to be like, like a rifle bolt. You know, you can see it's all knurled. It's almost tactical there. And they have also, I'm just going to move this out of the way there, um, a kind of a nice recess. You know, there's a spring obviously pushing up on this. So this is kind of its resting position. So you don't have to worry about that. But you can see the notch that's cut into that C right there. So that when I slide this bolt down like that, it'll sit in there without coming back up, right? And now we've got the pen down here and I can say, Hello, Shinola. And just nice, smooth, like I would expect from the pilot. So that is great, super comfortable in my hand. But then if I just push this over, boom, you know, I don't even have to guide it back. Once you get past this little indentation there, it just snaps back because of the, the spring loading. Now you've got a nice kind of rounded cap on the top here. Uh, just really beautiful. It's just as simple to kind of move that down. I mean, it feels kind of like a rifle bolt, right? It's got that look, boom. So uh, that is the pen in and of itself. And so I'm really excited to have this. Now, the big question is, does it fit? Does the Shinola pen fit the Shinola loop? So I'm just gonna put that in here. And I think this leather loop is a little tight because I've never had anything in it, but because of the strength of titanium. And because the loop needs to stretch out a little bit, I'm gonna force it in there. And that's where I'm gonna use it. Now, um, I also wanna kind of pull this out one more time here before I force it in there and work that up. Because I do wanna to talk to you about the price point of this pen. I believe this pen was $79.99, 80 bucks. Now, I actually went to uh, the Tactile Turn website and that's the same price. And you can see, oh, Tactile Turn uh, in 2018 is kind of etched in the clip underneath it. So um, you're not paying any more to get it from Shinola. It's just kind of the retail price on it. Probably the only thing that I'm missing on this that I would have liked to have seen is Shinola laser etching maybe on the clip or something like that. That would have been kind of nice to have a little Shinola branding, but um, I get that it's not necessarily built by them. It's just resold by them. So uh, pretty cool. And I think it's a great fit for this. And just, man, it's just a beautiful, beautiful pen. Look at that. I could play with this all day. Actually, it's kind of cool to see inside there. And kind of like a rifle bolt, I can see a little spiraling so that this thing doesn't get stuck. You know, you do that with rifle bolts to create a little air channel uh, so that things don't, you know, uh, burnt gunpowder, ice, uh, frost, those kinds of things don't let it stick. Cool, man, that is awesome. Love it, can play with this all day. Uh, I will put a link to this in the description if you want to pick one up. Peter Brown Panda, out. Thank <laughs> you.